Hello there, geographers, and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today, we're going to be going into Unit 5, Topic 3. We're going to be looking at agricultural origins and diffusion. Throughout this video, we're going to be looking at different agricultural hearths and also looking at how different plants and animals diffused around the world. In the first video in this unit, we looked at different regions around the world and the crops that they produce. But in order for us to fully understand agriculture today, we have to look back in time to see where it started. When we do this, we can see five main agricultural hearths, starting with the fertile crescent where we can see sedentary agriculture originated. Here we can see crops such as wheat, barley, and oats grown. And these diffuse throughout the Middle East into Europe and also parts of Africa. Over in sub-Saharan Africa, we can see yams, coffee, and sorghum cultivated with diffusion happening through Southern Africa. If we move over to Southeast Asia, we can see the cultivation of coconuts and mangoes with diffusion happening in East India. Or we could look at East Asia where rice and soybeans were cultivated cultivated with diffusion first going to Korea and Japan. Lastly, we could look at Central America where maize, potatoes, squash, and peppers were grown with diffusion happening throughout North America and also South America. One of the ways in which agricultural products and practices diffused around the world was through trade. Countries, cultures, and societies that came in contact with one another would often exchange ideas and goods, and food was no exception. Trade routes like the Silk Road allowed for diffusion to occur through Asia, the Middle East, and into Eastern Europe and parts of Africa. Companies like the British East India Company traded animals, plants, and other goods, which allowed for the diffusion of different agricultural products and practices to occur through South Asia, the Middle East, Africa, and also Europe. If we look over to the Americas, we could see the impact of the Colombian exchange with the diffusion of different animals, plants, and unfortunately diseases between the new world and the old world, forever reshaping society. Now, while trade was a major reason why we saw the diffusion of different agricultural products and practices occur, it wasn't the only factor. We could also look at the migration of people. Both forced and voluntary migration led to new goods, services, plants, agricultural practices, and animals to be introduced into different geographic regions around the world. And after the Green Revolution occurred, we saw diffusion happen even more, with new variants of plants that diffused around the world, thanks to trade, migration, businesses, and government programs. Today, we're going to continue to see the diffusion of different animals, plants, agricultural products, and also practices, as the world continues to become more connected, thanks to globalization and technology. Cultures now interact with cultures around the world, and with that leads to more diffusion. All right, geographers, the time has come to practice is what you've learned. Answer the questions on the screen right now and then check your answers in the comments below. Also, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. It's a great way to support the channel and it'll also make sure you don't miss any future review videos. And if you do need a little bit more help with AP Human Geography, check out my Ultimate Review Packet. It is a great resource that covers all seven units of AP Human Geography. It'll definitely help you get an A in your class and a five on that national exam. If you're interested in the resource, you can find a link in the description below. All right, that's all the time we have for today, geographers. I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.